I'm going to invite uh, Lydia to come forward to light the Advent candle this morning. This morning is our Sunday of faith. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling, in the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord, Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I said, What shall I cry? All people are like grass, and their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are a grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up, do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. See, the sovereign Lord comes with power, and he rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Thank you, Lydia. Our confession and assurance this morning come from Isaiah chapter 11. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the, wickedness, the wicked. Righteous will, righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we pray very much that we would not be found to be among the wicked, but instead that we, like your son Jesus, would delight in the fear of the Lord, that we would follow righteousness, and that we, we will help the poor of the earth and the needy in this world. Lord, may we, like your son Jesus, walk with righteousness as our belt and faithfulness as the sash around our waists. Please, O oh God, forgive us for when our selfishness has trumped our righteousness, for when our greed has trumped faithfulness, for when self-interest has come in the way of the fear of the Lord, Lord, please hear our prayer as we silently take a few moments to confess these sins before you.
Father, thank you for hearing our prayers. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Our words of assurance come from Psalm 25. I, in you, Lord my God, I put my trust. God is, and good, excuse me, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful towards those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, Lord, for, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. And from Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is indeed our light and salvation. He teaches us his ways and he teaches us and forgives us all our sins as well.